Right, we're going to do a quick video on actually using or solving the length of a side using trigonometry. Trigonometry is about these three buttons, sine, cos, tan on your calculator. There we go. We're going to work out length x. This is about, say, 15 centimeters. And this angle is 35 degrees. Nice and random. So, first of all, we've got to decide, is it sine, cos, or tan we're going to use? Um, not a particular big fan of this method here. Um, after a bit of practice, you'll shortcut this method, but you need to know this word, sohkatoa. Yeah, that's my Japanese, great Japanese, isn't it? No, it's not really Japanese, obviously. Sohkatoa goes like this. So, ka, toa. I'll stick a little equals there now. What does that mean? Well, SCT, sine, cos, tan. Okay, basically it tells you, it helps you remember. <coughs> what to use, sine, cos, or tan, for a given question in trigonometry. Over here I've got the opposite and I've got the adjacent. Where I've got O and A. Which of these have an O and A in it? Has that got O and A? No, it's just got O and H. It's got, it's got the A bit. Has this got it? It's got the A bit, but not the O bit. So I'm looking for O and H. No, I'm looking for O and A. Sorry, turn that into an A. Oh, look, there he goes. That's, that's it. Great. Tan. That's tan we want to use. So what does that tell you? You have to write tan. <coughs> when you write trigonometry stuff, it goes like this. Tan. Then you write the angle, it's equal to, like this says, opposite divided by adjacent. So the opposite, this is the opposite, it's called x in this case, and the adjacent is 15. Okay, <coughs> now that's a 3 by the way, if you can't read it, like 35, 35, let's make it clearer. Is actually clearer. Well, anyway, tan 35 is a number. Uh, let's rub out this stuff. So you've got a bit of space, a bit of tissue. So, video, you can rewind if you need to see this bit. Tan 35, I'm just getting out my calculator on the computer. 35. Tan. On new calculators you write tan 35, but this computer calculator is not very good, so you write, you write the other way around. Tan 35 is roughly 0 0.7. So instead of that, I'm writing that. So it's still equal to x divided by 15. I don't actually calculate what that is at this stage. It's, I wouldn't normally do it, but I think it makes it easier to understand if you're new to it. If that's divided by 15, I on this side of the equals, I, when I move it to this side here, it'll become a times. If you don't know that already, that's a, another topic you have to learn separately. It's nothing to do with trigonometry. So basically that's what you get. And what is 15 times 0 0.7 times 15, what do I get? 10.5, okay? So that is equal to 10.5. Yep, you can see that. That is our answer. Wonderful. Okay, I'll do another video in a second.